Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this coconut oil at home. Coconut oil is part of my hair care routine, so I like it to be 100% pure. The only way to guarantee it is by making it myself. Alright, I'll be using 7 coconuts in this video. I'm going to go ahead to break it using my hammer. It's not difficult if you are using matured coconuts. It's easy to break. Keep tapping around the coconuts until the shapes are falling off. So this is the coconut meat. I'm going to make sure to wash it twice so I can wash off all the shell because it can damage your blender. I'm going to go ahead to chop into pieces to enable me grind it. It's time for us to blend. I'd already boiled my water. I'm adding the hot water. This hot water will make it soft. You know how strong coconut is, especially the mature one. So guys, we need to blend it three times and this is how it looks like. This is my wig cap. I'm going to use this wig cap today. If you don't have this wig cap, you can use your chiffon material, whatever you have. So I'm going to scoop some and put into this wig cap. And then squeeze out the milk. If you know you are not okay with it, you can add hot water and stir and then squeeze out everything. Every drop of milk is out from it. We are left with this shaft. I was not really okay with it. I'm still going to do this with my chiffon. This is the shaft that came out from this. You can see that, although it's not much. Okay, this is my freezer. I'm going to leave this for 30 minutes. You can use your fridge and leave it overnight. So this is how it looks like. The parts gathered up is where the coconut oil is located. So I'm going to scoop it out. And then I'll start cooking and make sure you always stir to avoid burning. So you can see our coconut oil is coming out. <laughs> Why I put the coconut juice in the fridge is to save gas. Some people boil everything together. No, that's going to consume a lot of gas. The best way is to leave it in the fridge or freezer and then scoop out the parts that gathers up and then you cook. You filter the oil out and we have the byproducts left. This byproduct is edible. In some cultures, they eat it, you can use it as snacks or whatever it's very sweet thanks for watching don't forget to give me a like and follow for more videos like this bye